What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Doc's Practice Room Studios. We're located here in the Different Drum Shop. Uh, shout out to Steve Pruitt uh, here at the, uh, at the Different Drum. If you're ever in the Myrtle Beach, Garden City, Georgetown area, please stop by the Different Drum Shop Check it out. located here in Merle's Inlet at the Inlet Square Mall. Um, today we have Dante Riley, great friend of mine. He's my little brother. He's not even a friend. He's my little brother. He, he called me Pops. Um, <laughs> We have him here in the studio. So excited to have him. Uh, Dante, tell everybody where you're from, man. Hey, man. I'm from uh, Blackwood, South Carolina. I've been playing drums since I was like two and really got inspired by this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> and just, he really kicked the ball for me. And um, ever since, like, seeing him play and, and going to my church and seeing different guys play and the way they play and the style of playing, it just, it really had me drawn towards uh, drums in percussion in general. Um, I remember the times where we was in property. Yeah. And yeah, you would hold yeah. me and yeah. I'd be right there under the under the uh the under, little balcony yeah, just <laughs> looking, staring at anybody who got on the set. I used to hold this guy on my on my on my lap. Not today. Yeah, I, I will not hold him on you no, see, I, look how big he looks. Oh, look at that. I can't even flex. I can't, uh, even, can't even flex on him like that. No Pops but um but he has really you know, you know, Dante, you have really grown over the years, man. Uh, especially I believe um, you know school training has really helped you too. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up through uh, what is it, Westwood High School? Westwood High School. Well, yeah, yeah, Westwood High School in Blythewood, South Carolina. So that has really uh, imparted, you know, uh, took a great impart partation into his life. To my band director, Jenny Van Team, you are the best. Oh, see there, love you. you Got to show, got to do the shout out. Shout out, shout, shout out to, to to the band director. So so that's good stuff. So so tell me about uh, you know you know how you've been uh, maintaining your practice and uh you, you know you're playing and all that stuff during the middle of this pandemic that we're in well really it's kind of been easier to focus in and, and lock in on, on music because a lot of new music coming out oh yeah so yeah and, and with this pandemic i feel like i'm like you said i'm, I'm growing and it's a lot of stuff i want to touch on just like last week um my friend had me listening to some uh some indie music i forgot the name of it okay but it was the, the rudiments and, and the different textures, like I want to touch on all of that. So right now I feel like I'm in the process of growing and growing more. I okay. don't know where it's going at, but uh -huh. I know it's it, we're headed up. It's headed up for uh, sure. <laughs> well, like I always tell everybody in my, you know, like in my clinics, I say the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. You mm -hmm. all, you know, you can improve in something always in anything, anything. that you're doing. How do you practice um, at home? What are some ways that you practice? One of the ways uh -huh. I practice is, uh, let's see. I usually just grab some headphones, uh -huh. listen to a song that I've been listening to all day, play on top of that. After that, after 15 minutes of that, um, I go to a uh, 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 supercharge, practice that, uh -huh. Heaven's Judgment, practice that. And then I do a couple of gospel songs like We Serve, J.J. Harrison, uh -huh. um, For My Good, Judah Band, I've Got the Victory, uh -huh. uh, Ricky Dillard, ah. and a lot of um, Patrick Riddick, um, his last album. I play, I really pretty much just play the whole album from top to bottom. So usually that's my... Uh, your practice. Yeah, my practice. That's usually my, 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 uh, my usual, usual do. Who are some of your top uh, gospel artists? That you look up to. Are we talk we talking music singing? Uh huh. Uh, let's see. You got my favorite Patrick Riddick. I, okay. I love the way he um uh, he he's to me he's like a mini Ricky Dillard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you got him. Uh -huh. and You got uh R.I.P. My man who just passed away, Rance Allen. Uh huh. And then you got Bishop John Rance P. Allen. Bishop Rance Allen. And you got John P. Key. John P. Key, now John, you know, you said John P. Key. Yeah, that's that's going way. Yeah, that's way back. That's before he was born. Yeah, that's before me. But I let you know, I've been I've been influenced in uh, a lot of older older generations. Mm -hmm. Kind of like controlled the churches now. Not I don't even want to say control, but like put the younger generation under the wing. So mm -hmm. now when when you coming up, you singing John P. Key. Somebody looking at you like John P. Key. What's that? You got to, You had to be in the church, man. All right. That's that church. Hey, that's how you know you're a church boy. You're a church girl. I'm gonna let right, you know right, right there. Right, right, right. So, and then for me, it'd be like Reverend Milton Brunson. So he'd probably be like, ooh, ooh, the Reverend Milton. Ooh. Who's that? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the next five years? 
Uh, let's see. Drumming. I really feel like I could take off with this. I feel like I could, with the right with the right guidance and the right people in my ear and on my team, I feel like I could take off and, and be somewhere uh, touring with a group. Okay, in the next five years. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, that's good. So, um, the younger cats that are coming up up under you, because 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 you're like twenty, right? Nineteen mm -hmm. or twenty? 20. You're twenty. You're twenty. He's twenty years old. Um, so you got these young cats that are coming up. Uh, what, what, what would you say to these young ones? You know, you, you know, to the young ones, as uh, Kirk Franklin would say, young buck. <laughs> young bucks. <laughs> yeah. What would you say to these young cats that are coming up today? Keep keep going. Keep striving. If you feel like like you're not good enough, you feel like uh, he's better than me. Don't even think about it. She's better than me. Don't don't think about that. Just keep going. Be the best player you can be. Don't mimic anyone else. Just, just learn what you can from other people, grasp it, and then apply it to your, to your uh, everyday drumming. Ah, that's good. That's good because you know, I mean, you know, you know, we do have so many young ones that are coming up, um, and a lot of times the only the only thing they really want to do is just like a run. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the key for me, the key, you know, key for me, uh, you know, watching a drummer is pocket. Um, and, and pocket is so if you wanted to make money as a drummer and I would say this you would have to have pocket can you tell us what pocket means to you pocket to me is just straight drive holding that pocket holding the song holding the beat holding the tempo you are the heartbeat of that song mm. you are the heartbeat of whatever's going on you holding it down that's what's up and, 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 and uh, me coming through Coastal Carolina University yeah go shot Shanta Clears, um, <laughs> yeah, Shanta Clears. yeah, yeah. But anyway, I came I came through Coastal Carolina University, uh, and and I do have my BA, my bachelor's in music, and um, I remember uh, my jazz professor Dan O'Reilly. He was always he you know he would always tell me in jazz band. He's like, the drummer needs to create this chair for the whole band to be able to sit in. So, um, and that's definitely from that. Uh, from him saying that, that you know, that's my mindset when I sit down. But me, you know, me even playing uh, these days, I, you know, I try, I try to create an atmosphere or that chair for the band to be able to sit down in, uh, so it's, so you know, so it's comfortable and they can do what they want to do. I don't need to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. I just need to hold that groove and make it feel good. Right. And then if it feel good, it's going to take off and it is going to take on, take on that and embellish that and make it even go further. Until you're gonna be bobbing your head, bobbing your head off, and you're like, jamming. You're jamming. So yeah. Your head ain't moving. You ain't doing. You ain't doing some work. You ain't got it. You ain't, you ain't. You ain't got it. So man, keep going. Keep striving. It was a lot of things going on now today. Um, this is my home. This is my peace. When I come home from uh, just the average day of work or the average day of. Uh, it's nonsense and running errands for everybody. This is my pride and joy, bread and butter. Wow, you know, this this calms me. Cut, calms you right now. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and the same thing for myself. It just it just like it's so relaxing. It's just like man, it's just ah, you know. I just it just really relaxing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so man, I I am I am over I am overjoyed to have you here beside me today here in Merle's Inlet South. Carolina, that does my heart. You don't even know. It, it does my heart. Wonderful. This is our first interview. Very this is so he's my first interview of Doc's practice room. Uh, you know, like the podcast type thing. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, we have him coming out. So we want we, we trying we trying to branch out a little bit. So this is going to be really, really, really good. So so who are some of your greatest influence uh, influences from drumming? Mm. Who influenced you the most? Influenced me the most? Yeah, on the drumming side. I would say Sean Wright. Wow. Yeah, the way he's uh, creative. Basically, his whole approach to music got me to rethink how I approach drums. Mm -hmm. So the way he, the way the, the, the first note on the track, he's already ready. He's ready to go. He got the symbol, regardless of what the song is, he just always know how to approach the song. I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. It just the, the way you watch him, you could tell like he knows how to approach the song. Knows how to come off this and and come to this. Um, let's see, you got Chris Coleman. Ooh, wow, <laughs> a lot of people really like him. Uh, 
I cannot believe I for, we were just talking about him. Calvin Rogers. Oh my god. I can't believe I forgot about him. <laughs> oh. Calvin sorry, I'm, hey, Calvin, if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I told you Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor. That was nasty. Wow, Tony Taylor. If you get a chance on Sunday morning, you can see Tony Taylor with Transformation Church. He's live on Sunday morning. You can see mm-hmm. him uh, Central Standard Time at 11 a.m. Shout out to Pastor Mike uh, and, and Natalie Todd uh, over that ministry there. So, um, you, you know, you should check them out. Uh, Central Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right, go ahead. And you got uh, Josh Mayfield. Josh uh, Mayfield, preaching up something now. Too. Preacher too. Yeah, he's definitely inspired me multiple times. Um, he'll, I see him at uh, National Ames mm-hmm. a lot. It's not a, we don't get a, a quick conversation because, you know, yeah, musicians moving. are always on the go, mm-hmm. service to service. So it's never a what's up, catching up type stuff. It's always like, what's up? You know, pretty, it's kind of weird to me because, like, every time I see him, it's like, what's up? Can't say nothing else because, right. you know, he's always on the go. All right, I got you. But other than that, man, he's a real big inspiration. Wow, that's good. Who else? Anybody else? Um, Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Besides you, oh, the last me? one is uh, Vero. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. I, I came across his video. This went on. Um, my oh, school my had goodness. just banned. They just banned YouTube. You can only watch certain videos. So uh-huh. every time I was looking up something, it'd be like a drum video. And I'd be like, man, you know what? I'm going to click on that. So then I start clicking on Nick Smith. I start clicking on Sean Wright. I start clicking on uh, Tony Taylor. Calvin Rogers, uh, just different names and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I come to to a guy named Farrell. I was like, this guy, I don't know. The brothers. Brother just start. I was like, whoa. I'm talking about no expression. He one of them ones like C.J. Thompson. He'll play real good and just straight like this. Just do every chop in the world. Look at you like this. That that junk's crazy to me. When I get to that level, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, Yes, okay, sir. Really. So all of those, <laughs> those drummers. Hopefully, we can have all of them be <laughs> mentioned one day here in the CJ. studio. Oh my goodness! Wow. CJ. So it's 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 absolutely amazing. And you talking about calibers of of drumming? I mean, and all of them have their own dynamic, mm-hmm. their own dynamic taste. All of those are good, solid. I mean, solid mm-hmm. drummers. So that's what's up. Shout out to all you guys. So, um, man, I appreciate you being on the on on the, uh, you know at Doc's practice room studio. It's amazing.